Hello and welcome to this video on electronic configuration, where the focus for the video is how you can draw and write the electronic configuration for any element from 1 to 20. Okay, you'll have seen from diagrams of the atom that you've got electrons that go around in shells on the outside. What you may not know is how you can actually fill those out. And it fills out from the inside out. The very first shell can hold a maximum of two electrons, as you can see here. And the second shell can hold a maximum of eight electrons, which you can see here. And the final shell you need to know about for GCSE is the third shell, which also contains eight electrons. So that is two in the first, eight in the second, eight in the third. Now what you need to be able to do is actually take that information on the rules, take the information you know from the periodic table, and draw the shells for any element from 1 to 20. So the example we're going to use is lithium. Now we know that the number of electrons is always the bottom number, so we have three electrons for lithium. Therefore, we have to put three in to our electronic configuration. And if we go back to our rules, we know that the first shell can hold a maximum of two. So we put those first two onto the first outer shell, leaving me with just one electron left. You should also remember that the second shell can hold eight electrons. However, we don't have eight to put in there now. We only have the one. We can only put what we've got. So we put that one electron in there. Now what you will also notice here is I'm putting 2.1, that is the written electronic configuration. It's just showing in the first shell I have two and one remaining in the second shell. Okay, so if we have a look at another example then, let's go for the most complicated one you might be asked, which is calcium, which has got a mass number of 40 and an atomic number of 20, which tells me we have 20 electrons. What you need to do is remember the rules that two can go in the first shell, leave me with 18, eight can go in the second shell, leaving me with 10, then 8 can go in the third shell, leaving me with 2 remaining. And although you have to go into the fourth shell here, it doesn't actually matter how many can go on there because you'll only ever have to put 2 on in the GCSE. So you don't need to know whether it's 8, 18 or so on. Okay, so you put those 2 on, that gives you your outer shell and your written electronic configuration of 2, 8, 8, 2. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So the first question here shows you a diagram of an element and asks you to write the written electronic configuration for the atom. It's only worth one mark, so you know you don't have to do too much for that one. And then question two says, draw the electronic configuration for aluminium. It's given you the atomic number for it, which is 13. It's worth two marks, so have a think about how you can get both of those. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, we'll start off with question one then. So it says write the written electronic configuration. Now what you're looking for here is how many are on the first shell, which is two. How many on the second shell? Eight. How many on the third shell? One. So in that order, it should be 2.8.1. And that will give you your one mark. For the second one, it says draw the electronic configuration of aluminium. So you've got 13 electrons. You know the first one can hold two, so you definitely need the first shell. You know the second one can hold eight, which gives you ten of your thirteen, so you definitely need a second shell. Therefore, you need a third as well for the remaining three. Now, when it comes to drawing your electronic configuration, fill it in from the inside out. So your first shell has two. That leaves you with eleven. Second shell Eight. Excuse my appalling use of computer. Which gives you three remaining, which goes on the outer shell. So if you were to do the written electronic configuration for this, it would be two, eight, three. So you'd get one mark for having three in the outer shell, and one mark for the rest of it being correct. Hopefully that makes sense for you. If you're feeling confident, have a look at the review question, which is choose any two elements from 1 to 20, 1 being hydrogen, 20 being calcium, and draw the electronic configuration for them. And if you want to push your knowledge even further, do the written electronic configuration as well. And that ends this video.